right friends welcome back to questions and answers advanced this is 42nd week from 12th to 18th october here uh, some sentences are given you have to identify the correct sentences the questions are uh, a little uh, tricky and uh, you can learn a lot after viewing this type of uh, lectures this is that's why called advanced some of the aspects may go in depth and look at the first sentence customs duty levied on raw materials such as rubber is higher than the end product of tires tires are made with the rubber sometimes in india what happens the customs duty levied on rubber that is raw material is higher than the customs duty levied on tires customs duty levied on rubber is more than customs duty levied on tires this happens for some other products also that means on raw materials the customs duties are more customs duties are the duties imposed on imports when we are importing something when the government imposes duty that is the customs duty so customs duties on the raw materials are sometimes higher than the finished goods what will happen when the customs duties on raw materials are more than ultimately our domestic industry will become unviable and the imported finished products may become cheaper than the goods produced in our country recent cases the tires manufactured in our country are becoming costlier than the imported tires because when we import rubber the customs duty imposed on rubber is much high in comparison to the import duty imposed on the finished product tires so this is called inverted duty structure inverted duty structure and this is coming in the way of make in india program this happens for other commodities also so this is inverted duty structure recently trade organizations represented to the ministry of commerce with regard to the inverted duty structure so the given sentences both are correct here look into the next one under the multilateral competent authority agreement popularly known as mcaa mcaa is piloted by oecd countries and this multilateral competent authority agreement and india is one of the signatory to multilateral competent authority agreement and this facilitates automatic exchange of financial account information from 2017 there will be automatic exchange of financial information between the countries and second point is automatic exchange of information will take place on common reporting standards that means when the countries are required to automatically exchange information there should be common reporting standards and all the countries are devising common reporting standards are popularly known as the crs the second sentence is also correct india is also a signatory to mcaa multilateral competent authority agreement so once this comes into force from the year 2017 there will be automatic exchange of information among the countries and probably black money may be reduced and for implementation countries are devising common reporting standards right look into the next one the deal for purchase of 22 apach attack helicopters and 15 chinook heavy lift helicopters recently government gave green signal for purchase of 22 attack helicopters and 15 chinook heavy lift helicopters at a cost of around 3 billion dollars and defense purchase when it exceeds a certain limit will have 30% offset clause please correct the first sentence it is not 20% it is 30% offset clause you may ask what is offset clause offset clause is nothing but when we are making defense of procurement then the firms are required to invest back in our country 30% of the value of import 30% of the value of the import the firms are required to invest back in the country that means they have to establish a manufacturing base in our country for 30% of the value which is known as offset clause 
this is known as offset class so offset class is 30% in defense purchases once the limit exceeds certain limit so please correct the first sentence that is 30% offset class second sentence is correct so the right option here is 2 right friends look at the next one thousands of people marched in berlin to protest against the proposed free trade deal between europe and united states of america europe and united states of america are expected to sign free trade agreement and europe is not happy several organizations are protesting i think around 150000 people marched in the streets of berlin recently and the given sentence is correct the second sentence is proposed trade deal is transatlantic trade and investment partnership ttip transatlantic trade and investment partnership some of the european countries are not in favor of this ttip both the given sentences are correct and the right option is 3 and ttip is between united states of america and european union right look into the next one india and israel signed dtaa recently when the president visited israel and don't forget president of the country visited the three countries the three countries are jordan palestine and israel when the president visited israel double taxation avoidance agreement was signed given sentence is correct the second sentence is what is the meaning of double taxation avoidance agreement it avoids double taxation for the same product it avoids double taxation for the same product and this will ensure taxation of indian or israeli companies where they have permanent establishments when some israel company is manufacturing something with the permanent establishment in our country it will be taxed here if they are manufacturing in israel with permanent establishment it will be taxed here but it will not be taxed in our country the products will not be taxed here so double taxation avoidance agreement avoids taxation in both the jurisdictions for same product manufactured both the given sentences are correct look at the next one bt cotton crop was damaged recently in punjab due to white flies due to white flies several districts abohar batinda muktsar these districts are affected badly and most of the people used genetically modified bt cotton bt cotton was used by several farmers this is a genetically modified cotton of from monsanto group and it produces insecticide on its tissues to fight bollworm you may ask what is bollworm please look into this picture this is bollworm it automatically naturally produces insecticide on its tissues because it is genetically modified variety it will give protection against bollworm but it could not give protection against white flies because of white flies attack the crop was badly damaged more than 50% of the crop was badly damaged and government announced a compensation of 644 crores of rupees so look at the next question consider the following statements as per the emission intensity targets submitted to UNFCCC recently government of India submitted its INDC to United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and as per the emissions target submitted by India to UNFCCC India's emissions will reduce from now onwards in absolute terms is absolutely wrong what India committed is India will reduce the emissions by 35 percent by the year 2030 per unit of GDP in comparison to 2005. In comparison to 2005, India will reduce by 35 percent, but it is per unit of GDP and GDP will grow many times between 2005 and 2030 and Per GDP, they will reduce by 35%, but in absolute terms, they will definitely increase because India is yet to grow and our energy requirements will be very high in future. What India committed is, India will reduce the emissions 
per unit of GDP, not in absolute terms. So, the first sentence, please correct the first sentence. In absolute terms, India's emissions will definitely increase, but per unit of GDP in comparison to 2005, by the year 2030, they will reduce by 35 percent. Please correct the first sentence. Second is, India is third in carbon emissions after China and USA in absolute terms. This is the right sentence. China is the largest contributor of emissions around 25 percent, followed by United States of America is around 15 percent. Both put together contribute to around 40 percent of the world's carbon emissions and India is at the third position. And if you consider European Union as one block, European Union will come at third position, India will be at fourth position. But if you separate, if you consider separate countries, then India's position will be third, right? So, second sentence is absolutely correct. So, the right option is two here. Look at the next one. Government identified 57 coal based power units for upgradation to supercritical and ultra supercritical units. This supercritical and ultra supercritical units are basically to improve the efficiency of coal projects. In thermal power plants, this supercritical and ultra supercritical units are basically to improve the efficiency. When the efficiency is increased, then what will happen? Carbon emissions will reduce. With the usage of coal, you can produce some more energy. With the usage of same coal, you can produce more energy. That means, efficiency will be increased because of which emissions will be reduced. That is why government identified 57 existing coal projects and government wants to improve them to supercritical and ultra supercritical units. Given sentence is correct. Second one is, this is with a view to ensure less carbon emissions because of improved efficiency. So, both the given sentences are correct. The right option is 3 here. Look at the next one. 2015 United Nations Climate Change Conference. All of you are well aware, 2015 United Nations Climate Change Conference is going to be held in Paris from November 30 to December 11. This is known as COP21 or CMP11. What is COP21? COP21 is 21st yearly session of the Conference of the Parties to the 1992 United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. And this is the 21st yearly session. So, the second sentence is also correct. Look at the third sentence. It is called CMP 11 also because it is the 11th session of the meeting of the parties subsequent to Kyoto Protocol in 1997. Please correct the sentence. It is not the Millennium Summit of the United Nations in 2000. It is Kyoto Protocol of 1997. Please correct the third sentence. It is the 11th session of meeting of the parties subsequent to Kyoto Protocol of 1997. That is why it is called COP21 or CMP11. Look at the next question, MTCR. What is MTCR? This is a Missile Technology Control Regime. India is not a member. So, this Missile Technology Control Regime concluded its meeting in Netherlands without any decision with regard to the India's membership. No decision was taken and India is asking for membership. It is the voluntary association of 34 countries. It is basically aimed at the non-proliferation of unmanned delivery systems capable of delivering weapons of mass destruction. And India is yet to get the membership. Recently, meeting was held at Netherlands and the meeting ended without any decision. At present, there are 34 countries and this MTCR is Missile Technology Control Regime. Persil Islands, Spratly Islands and Scarborough Shoal are situated in this is South China Sea. China has got a territorial dispute with several other countries and these three disputed areas that is Paracel Islands, Spratly Islands and Scarborough Shoal. You may ask what is the shawl? Please look into this picture. 
So, these are all situated in South China Sea, where China has got territorial dispute with uh, several other countries in the region. Answer here is South China Sea. Government will invoke rupees 500 crore price stabilization fund to reduce the cost of imported pulses. About the pulses, our country last year produced around 17 million tons. Normal production is stagnant for the past 4-5 years. In fact, during the year 2013-14, pulses production was 18 million tons and they reduced during the year 2014-15 to 17 million tons. Our requirement is around 22 to 23 million tons and 5 to 6 million tons we have to import. And there are some structural problems that is why nowadays cost increases like anything for various uh, types of uh, these pulses and to stabilize the prices, government invoked the mechanism of price stabilization fund. In the budget, government announced price stabilization fund and this is rupees 500 crore price stabilization fund and this will be used for uh, transportation, handling and milling for pulses so as to reduce the cost of imported pulses. So, this price stabilization fund as announced in the budget is for rupees 500 crores of rupees. Whenever there is any problem with any of the agricultural commodity, this price stabilization fund will be used. Right friends, with this let us conclude questions and answers advanced. Please do join for other modules. Have a nice day. Thank you.